I'm Stephen Dickens, your host, and you're joining us here, coming to you live from IBM Tech Exchange, and I'm joined by the guys from Falcon Store, Ron and Abdul. Welcome to the show. Tell Thank us a little much. bit about your roles. So I'm the VP of Engineering at Falcon Store. Fantastic. Uh, Abdul Hashimi, VP of Customer Success uh, at Falcon Store. So, Let's dive in first, tell us a little bit, if you don't mind, Ron, about Falcon Store. Let's get the listeners and viewers orientated, and then we'll get into the meat of it. Sure, sure. Falcon Store has been a partner with IBM for over 20 years, and we're, we've really been evolving that partnership, and in particular, we've been focusing over the last three years with the Power VS Cloud. Well, we're here at the Power Community booth, so that feels appropriate. Yes. Abdul, you presented earlier on today, Tell the listeners and viewers what some of the key takeaways, maybe those who weren't able to be here, about the collaboration with what you're doing with the Power VS and ultimately the broader Power community. Sure, um, we had a great session, very engaging session. So basically, we, uh, the main points are we, we, we went over the five use cases that we have, that is uh, installing and configuring uh, StoreSafe VTL on-prem uh, to be able to replace data domain or any other VTL-like solution. Uh, and then also the hybrid cloud, then build that up by installing another VTL in PowerVS. That's our use case number two. So then now you can use your PowerVS as your DR, active DR or passive DR. And then DR resident, and as well as uh, um, PowerVS resident and PowerVS DR. In addition to that, we concentrate and there's a lot of engagement from customers and partners on the data domain takeout. Our friendly nature would tape export and import how we um, uh, use our solution to help customers and partners to both import tapes from a physical tape library and as well as export to a physical tape library. And are you seeing that hybrid story resonate with the clients? That's what I'm hearing. We're in a m mode of hybrid adoption. Is that what you, you're seeing? A absolutely. I, I, I think it resonates for a lot of reasons. And our store VTL gives them that ability to be able to embrace the cloud at their own Pace. Cloud is not for everybody and not right from the get-go. So people want to embrace it slowly. By having a solution like uh, Stressa VTL, we give you the ability to test, make sure everything is good based on your uh, business requirements, and then move on and move 100% to the cloud. I think that the optionality there is really interesting for me. One of the key workloads that comes up in that context is SAP HANA. Absolutely. You guys have been doing some stuff with StoreSafe with SAP HANA. Yes. Tell me a little bit more. Yeah, well, we're doing some really exciting things with SAP HANA. Um, in particular, you know, we have three value propositions. In the past, we've always really focused on business continuity, data protection, um, uh, disaster recovery. That's been you guys at the core, core for a while. Core capability, absolutely. And what we've been expanding on, which the two of you have been talking about, is really this aspect of, of frictionless hybrid cloud. So being able to run your workloads either on-prem or in the cloud or both. And so um, that's where SAP HANA is really an opportunity to be able to run your, your SAP HANA on-prem or up in the cloud and how Falcon Store StoreSafe can really be the enabler for that frictionless movement. So I mean, it, it's interesting you mentioned the word frictionless there. We're talking about the optionality of hybrid cloud. Yep. I think people are looking for this type of flexibility, core workloads like SAP. They're looking for, maybe I've got some of that on-prem, maybe I need to back some of it up to the cloud, maybe I've got a global deployment of SAP and I don't have stuff in particular regions. There's a lot of sort of optionality there. Yes. You mentioned frictionless. How easy is it to adopt StoreSafe and the Falcon Store product set with IBM? Very easy, and that's one of the things that I'm really highlighting in, in my um, session, which is really the ability to go directly from Sapana using the, the um, administrative console or, um, or Sapana Studio and, and back up directly to uh, StoreSafe and then replicate that, that information up into the, in the, to the cloud, either for test dev or, or actually for migration into the cloud. So guys, it's 2024, it's the year of AI, Absolutely. and I've not asked you an AI <laughs> question. So Ron, tell me, we were talking a bit off camera what the yes. AI strategy is, you yes. guys are doing a lot in that space. Absolutely. Tell me what you're doing in AI, and really what enterprises should be thinking about when they look at Falcon Store. 
Great question, great question. And it's something that we've really been putting a lot of focus on um, with, in partnership with IBM. Um, so we have a number of initiatives around Watson X. Um, so first of all, being able to um, bring in the historical data that, that's in your backups and archives. So it's no longer just your production data, mm -hmm. but you really want to look back in history over the past 10 years, 20 years even, and, and being able to do intelligent you know, um, analysis based on uh, Watson X and natural that's language processing. That's going to be the private use case, I think, the Absolutely. private AI use Absolutely. case. So I think what you're doing is fascinating there. Yes. I cut in, but carry on. <laughs> well, data governance is, is, is critical yeah. because it is private. Um, so being able to have your, a separate instance and, and ensure the, the privacy of that private of, of that data. Um, so that, that's one area, being able to bring in this historical angle uh, to your AI analyses. Um, the other part is, is actually on the, on the front end, being able to make intelligent queries, so natural language processing, um, and being able to um, span multiple databases, because I think some of the most interesting things about AI and the most interesting insights that you can get is when it's, you're combining information across multiple sources, and that's when you get real insights. You want to be able to pull from those various data sources pull that together for a large language model and get that insight. Exactly, it's not just a matter of translating natural language into a SQL query, it's, it's really being able to integrate that information. Pulling it from those data sources so you get a, an amalgamated answer. Yes, and the, and the third area that we're focusing on, which I'll be talking about in my, in my uh, breakout session, is how we're providing frictionless um, hybrid cloud, so being able to take Sephana from on-prem into the cloud, into Power VS, um, and then protect it, business continuity in the cloud. And then we've been partnering with the, um, uh, the What's Next team, and we have a demo which shows a AI assistant being able to query that, seek that Sephana database. Um, and so it's, it's that three-step process of business continuity, um, of, of frictionless, um, hybrid cloud, and then extending and modernizing your application with I AI. Think, I think that's going to be crucial, pulling that SAP kind of system of record data yes. and being able to present it to AI. Yes. So that's fascinating. Yes. So if we had to boil it down as we wrap up here, Abdul, I'll go to you first. A couple of key takeaways and then I'll come to you next, Ron. What would the two key takeaways be from you as people start to think about what they're doing with their hybrid cloud strategy? and where Falcon Store can play in that. I think people love um, uh, the fact that we're agnostic when it comes to the hardware, when it comes to the cloud, uh, when it comes to the application. So our agnostic nature, they love. And with respect to our store safe VTL, they love their, the, the, the cost reduction that we bring to the table because of our global deduplication uh, from multiple workloads and as well as multiple types like maybe NAS and tape. So those are, the one that fantastic points and you Ron what would your key takeaways be you know I think it really is about optionality so being able to choose your your workloads choose your uh, cloud or on-prem choose your backup application is, is that flexibility because enterprise um, data centers are very complicated and, and for different reasons people have business requirements that that demand that flexibility well I think that's a fantastic way to wrap We've heard about flexibility, we've heard about people's hybrid cloud strategy. You've been watching us here on the 6.5, coming to you live from IBM Tech Exchange. Please check out our other videos and content that's coming to you live from the show, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.